Now to navigate around Snagger, uh, you can click these drill down symbols here to jump to the different plans that they're linked to. For example, if I click here, I've now gone to ground floor grid three. If I want to go back, there's a back button here, and there's a home button here. The home button always takes you to what we call the top level drawing, or the site plan. This plan here has been created to show in this project the different ways we've split up the drawings so that they display well on a device. If I now go into a different drawing and choose the back button, again this will take me back to the, the main site plan. If I click back again, it will take me to grid 3. So the back button takes you back in time through all the drawings that you have been to. So if you set up your Snagger project to have multiple levels of zoom, then you can use the back button to go back just one level and then jump into another plan if you want to. If I go into this plan here, where I have some defects, you'll see this button next to it is the change drawing button. Here brings up a picker, which allows you to select the drawing directly. The advantage of this option is it shows in brackets the count of defects that there are on each drawing. So here on ground floor grid 3, the drawing we're on currently, there should be 15 defects here. The button next to it allows us to filter by subcontractor. So if for example I choose Ellesmere, they currently have just 5 defects. So if I select this option, just the 5 defects of Ellesmere will be shown. If I click the button again, scroll to the top and choose all subcontractors, then all the defects will be shown again. Similarly, if I click on a location and I choose view linked defects, this will show the defects that have been linked to this location. If I choose it again and choose to deselect location, all the defects will come back.